Here are 10 of the best barefoot shoes and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the ones that I believe are worth you guys' money. Time codes are by the brand and affiliate links for the products will be down below in the description. Perfect! Kick it off, I have the Tolos Archetype 1.0, but also the 2.0. But obviously for this video, the 2.0 is going to be making this best barefoot list. Now, this is the first model leading off this list simply because of its versatility. And this shoe can be seen in the gym, whether you want to get a quick lift in or cross training, or even if you want to wear it casually. The second reason why I love these shoes so much is because of its durability. And the outsole of this shoe is amazing. It has an aggressive lug structure, which is amazing for those high volume runs or even if you want to just go on those long walks this shoe is great and it lasts you for a good amount of time now the third and final reason why i love this shoe so much is simply because of the fit and these shoes right here whenever you're wearing a pair of barefoot shoes this shoe is going to give you that sock like fit which is ultimately going to be very breathable and is going to fit very comfortably so this is a very nice option to consider at 115 dollars and this does fit true to size in my opinion. Finally, we have Fox Footwear. And to be honest, this is one of the newer barefoot brands that I've discovered. And to be honest, this is not one of the most barefoot options on here as the style is kind of barefoot, but there is a bit of cushion on these shoes right here. This is their running shoe and this is the Adapt Runner. And on their website it actually says that this is supposed to be used for between those four to five miles. But with that being said, this is a nice runner that is definitely gonna give you a little bit of art support. The Adapt Runner goes for $140. And if you guys do wanna buy this $140 sneaker, go ahead and check the affiliate links down below in the description. And I did wanna let you guys know that if you guys do buy a sneaker from these links, this will definitely help the channel. So if you guys do wanna buy any of the sneakers or if you just wanna help the channel, go ahead and check the links down below in the description. Next shoe I wanna cover with you guys is a shoe from Zero and this is the Dylan. And there are a lot of shoes that I actually like from Zero. But with that being said, this is my favorite model and this is the Dylan once again. And the reason why, or three reasons why I love this is first, because of its simplistic construction. Now, the second reason why I love these shoes right here is because of the breathability. And as you guys can see from these shoes right here along the mesh, it is very breathable. And this is gonna be very ideal for those hotter temperatures. However, the third and final reason why I love these shoes so much is because of its durability. And one note I did wanna leave you guys with is simply that this shoe is definitely gonna get dirty if you utilize it outside. So definitely stick with those darker colorways outside. But with that being said, this shoe goes for $100 and does fit true to size. But if you do have a wide foot, I definitely would go up half a size. Here are the Vivo Barefoot Shoes. And the first one I did want to go ahead and show you guys is the Vivo Barefoot Primus 3s. And these are very nice. I love these. These are very flexible. They are very lightweight and are just overall a very nice pair of barefoot shoes. Next, these are probably one of the best looking pairs of Vivo Barefoot Shoes. But these are the Primus Light Knits. And these just look amazing, guys, as you guys can see. They have a wide toe drop, they have a zero drop, and they also are squishy, so they just have the best of all worlds. Finally, pricing wise, the Primus Light 3s go for about $160, and then you have the Primus Light Knits, which go for about $175. Next shoe I wanna cover is the Winston Mesh Shoes, and when I talk about the Winston Shoes, I'm also talking about the Knit Shoes, which are pretty similar and have a lot in common. The first thing that I like about this model is that these shoes tend to last a while, and I definitely give it to the fact that this is a no frill shoe, and this is great for beginners that are just getting into barefoot shoes but with that being said that brings me into my second reason which is their price point so these models vary from anywhere from about 40 to about 60 dollars so if you are a beginner into barefoot shoes i definitely recommend you looking into this model right here so there is a link down below in the description. The third thing I like about these Winston Barefoot shoes is the fact that you do have a quite a bit of width along the forefoot of the shoe. And then I also do like that you have a slightly thicker sole. Next are the Scarlet Smart One Barefoot shoes. And at the time of recording, these go for only $40. I do love the no lixes on this shoe. It is very convenient. And also something I do like is the tread as it is very nice compared to those other Barefoot shoe. It has zero drop. And then also flexibility wise, this shoe is very flexible, which I also do like as well. Obviously, this is going to be one of the more normal looking barefoot shoes. And this is going to be something if you're looking for maybe a more standard or a more normal looking one. 
But if you're just getting started, it is definitely good to look into something with zero drop and with a wide toe fit. The seventh shoe that I want to add to this list is the TYR Drop Zero Lace version. And now hear me out, the reason why I'm adding this shoe to this list and the first reason is because of the outsole tread. And the outsole tread is very grippy, it gives you a very nice traction control, and it's also very flexible. Now the second reason why I love this model right here is simply because of the upper construction. And this upper allows for a very easy and very simple breaking in process. Now the third reason why I love these shoes right here is simply because of its breathability. The mesh is very breathable and you also do have a nice width on the toe so that is amazing and you should expect to pay around $150 for these shoes right here and this does fit true to size for most people. At number 8 I have the Ultra Torrin 7s and these go for about $150 and this is my favorite barefoot style running shoe but with that being said this has a toe cushion and it's great for those long runs. Obviously with these shoes right here you're not going to get the flexibility as with a regular barefoot shoe. But with that being said, this is going to be great for those runs when you're running on concrete so you keep a little bit of safety. The second to last model that I would like to discuss in this video is the Orgo Everyday Sneaker and this is the Gen 3 iteration. And the first reason I'd like to kick it off with is the fact that I love the fact that this shoe is very lightweight in a sporty type of way. The second reason why I love this shoe so much because you have plenty of width along the forefoot and along the midfoot. So if you definitely do want a little bit more extra space, this is definitely going to be a good option to look forward to. Into the third reason why I love these barefoot shoes so much, and that is because of its minimalistic design. And this shoe has very little branding. There is probably only branding along the back of the boot. But with that being said, this shoe does a very nice job keeping it very simple. And also you do have a pretty no frills outsole that is pretty nice. And then also this shoe does go for about $125 and does fit true to size for most people. Last but not least, I have the most barefoot dress shoe out of all dress shoes, and this comes from Ocus for about $165. As you guys can see, there is barely any drop. There is a slightly heel fit, and this shoe is very flexible, so you can feel the ground pretty easily. Links to all the barefoot shoes are down below in the description. And once again, if you do click one of these links and buy a sneaker, this helps the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. And if you do go ahead and buy one of these sneakers, go ahead and tag me, and I will reshare it. But with that being said, since you did go ahead and like this video, go ahead and click this top 10 playlist which will show you all the other shoes that I have ranked.